I just want to stay groovy hipster scooter because I understand Barry from Watford is now thinking about going into and getting a scooter in order to get around That's Watford. Right, he is, yeah, as yeah. well he should. It'll change his life. It'll be for the better. But he's 82, though. A scoo- and Watford as well? Well, you know what? If you truly are an 82-year-old life coach, wouldn't you want to go off and experience life to its maximum so you can spread that gospel to whoever his clients are? Yeah, I would sure, think yeah. so. Just pop the wife, Margaret, on the back. Head off to the market or the, the town fair or to, you know, offer a pub lunch. You're home free. I will be sure to pass that information on. I'll let Barry know. Well, if you were, let's say, say you, Tim, or say Barry. Barry, yes, yeah, say, say Barry. Say Barry says, you know, I'm going to shake things up. I'm going to go back to college now. Barry's going to walk into class, and if the his teacher is Julia Roberts, yeah. he's not going to miss that class. No, he's he's gonna, he, no. Margaret might, you know, say, why are you spending so much time at school? He's not going to care. No, about he's it, not going to care. No, he's no, 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 and no. guess what happens between uh, Larry Crown and Julia Roberts? It all works out. That's nicely linked in. Larry and Barry, they could be one on the same Barry case. Crown. Uh, absolutely. Larry, Barry, Crown. Larry Crown, Barry Crown, absolutely. All right, Tom Hanks, thank you so much. Always a pleasure talking to you. People always say to me, is it difficult interviewing Tom Hanks? I say, my mum could interview Tom Hanks. He's so lovely. If I'm going to bring my mum next time. And Barry from Watford, is that okay? As long as they don't fight, as long as you keep Barry and your mum separate, because I know they don't get along, always. maybe, then uh, bring them along. I'll be happy to say hello. Tom, thanks a lot. Good luck with Larry Crown. So, Tim Smith chats to Hollywood movie star Tom Hanks about his new film, Larry Crown. Here's part one of that interview. Go ahead, Tim. Look, it's Tom Hanks. Hello, Tom Hanks. How the devil are you? I'd like to think you arrived here this afternoon on your scooter. Tell me that's ah, true. Ah, ah. You know, if I could get the hang of right, driving on the other side of the street, I would, but that scares me. I do have my scooter license. I'm official. I've got the state of California, class four, I think is what it's called. Well, I'd like to think you kept it after you finished the film. I mean, I know you still got the space outfit from Apollo 13 and numerous other things from other films, but did you... I'd like to think you're driving around on that scooter in Beverly Hills. Oh, I do have that space outfit from Apollo 13. And I do drive that scooter. Not that scooter. That one was a hunk of junk. I've got a 149cc, and I, I think I want to move up to something that's a little bit bigger than Not a motorcycle. I just want to stay groovy hipster scooter because I understand Barry from Watford is now thinking about going into and getting a scooter in order to get around That's Watford. Right. He is, yeah, as well he should. It'll change his life. It'll be for the better. But he's 82 though. A scoot- and Watford as well? Well, you know what? If you truly are an 82-year-old life coach, wouldn't you want to go off and experience life to its maximum so you can spread that gospel to whoever his clients are? Yeah, I would sure, think yeah. so. Just pop the wife, Margaret, on the back. Head off to the market or the, the town fair or to, you know, offer a pub lunch. <laughs> You're home free. I will be sure to pass that information on. I'll let Barry know. That's a damn fine zipper, mister. It did get me here for a nickel's worth of gas. Didn't see you in the scooter pit last year. Oh, this is my first day of college ever. I love that. You an ex-cop? No. Why would you think that? Tucking in a polo shirt makes you look like one. The reason we should point out why we're talking scooters is because your character in Larry Crown drives a scooter, well, eventually ends up driving a scooter. Put us in the picture, Larry Crown, he's an everyman on his uppers, and he has to reassess his life. Does he not, Well, he does that. He, that thing happens to him that we all know can happen to us at some point. He walks into work one morning, absolutely on top of the world, sure of himself as he's always been looking forward to mixing it up on the course of the day, and somebody says, hey, can we have a word with you? Listen, we're restructuring the organization. We're going to have to let you go. Nothing personal. To say that he loses everything... He's on now that slow train to losing everything. He is going to lose his house. He is going to lose his furnishings. He doesn't know what to do with himself anymore. His self-esteem is completely shot. So what do you do? How do you wake up in the morning and somehow move forward and feel hopeful for the world again? And at the recommendation of uh, his very wise next-door neighbor, he goes back to community college. Not university. Just community college, the place that 20,000 people can go to without too much of a, uh, without the marks or the, or the money that would require a real thing. And lo and behold, one of his teachers is Julia. 
Right now with Tim Smith and Tom Hanks talking about Tom's new movie, Larry Crown, in which he plays a guy who loses his job and goes back to community college. One of his teachers is played by Julia Roberts. So let's start part two of the interview with a clip of her in the movie. My name is Miss Taino. T-A-I-N-O-T, Taino. Not Ty Not. Taino. This is what you are going to learn to do in my class. If you do not care about this class, then neither do I. It's nice to see Julia not aging at all. How does she do that? Because that's incredible. And there's a bit of a love story between your characters as well, but we won't give too much away. Well, if you were, <laughs> let's say, say you, Tim, or say Barry. Barry, yes, yeah, say, say Barry. Say Barry says, you know, I'm going to shake things up. I'm going to go back to college now. Barry is going to walk into class, and if the his teacher is Julia Roberts, yeah. he's not going to miss that class. No, he's he's gonna, he, no. Margaret might, you know, say, why are you spending so much time at school? He's not going to care. No, about he's it. not going to no, care. No, he's no, 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 and no. guess what happens between uh, Larry Crown and Julia Roberts? It all works out. That's nicely linked in. Larry and Barry, they could be one on the same Barry case. Crown. Uh, absolutely. Larry, Barry, Crown. Larry Crown, Barry Crown, absolutely. All right. Mission accomplished, Mr. Man in Black. Good night, Miss Tano. Mrs. I'm Mrs. Mrs. Taino, can't you see that? I, I assumed you preferred the Miz. Well, when you presume you make a pretty pair of asses out of me and you, something like that, or... Do you know what I noticed on the ride? That you smell very pleasant. Well, thank you. <clears throat> would, you would you like to kiss me? Just if you if you wanted to kiss me, it would really be your lucky night because I'm half in the bag and my husband won't be home for, you know, three to five years. <laughs> Where did the idea come from? Because we're lucky to be in pretty good positions, I suppose, in our lives. Things are bad for a lot of people all around the world. This guy, yeah, it's, it's a result of the current economic downturn up to a point, isn't it? Well, yeah, but he's not a guy who did anything wrong. In fact, Larry did everything right. But that's he, often the case. He's no uh, real estate developer. He's not buying houses and trying to flip it. He made the mistake of believing those advertisements that come on TV that say, you have equity in your home. You can refinance and have cash for boats and a new car and a vacation. He made that mistake of doing that years and years ago, and because of that, he's going to lose it all. All right. Uh, but that's a cruel indifference as opposed to a guy who's going through the, the fall from grace because of his hubris. He's just the victim of an indifferent universe. All right, Tom Hanks, thank you so much. Always a pleasure talking to you. People always say to me, is it difficult interviewing Tom Hanks? I say, my mum could interview Tom Hanks. He's so lovely. If I'm going to bring my mum next time. And Barry from Watford, is that okay? As long as they don't fight... As long as you keep Barry and your mom separate, because I know they don't get along, maybe, then uh, bring them along. I'll be happy to say hello. Tom, thanks a lot. Good luck with Larry Crown.